Hello everyone. Today we discuss about Peak Simulator ID. Download this file from Google and type Ocean Software Peak Simulator ID. So from here I download this file and install it and after installation I open this simulator and this is the main window of this simulator. Here lots of features are available for the Peak series microcontroller. Here we choose the microcontroller. Here lots of microcontroller like a Peak 10, Peak 12, F series, Peak 16, F series. So I choose Peak 16, F 877A microcontroller. And in this right hand tab it shows the different types of peripheral like digital input output pins, analog input output pin, the analog to digital converter, inter spin, data prom, reading flash, timer 0, 1, 2 and lots of U word. U word means TXRX, universal asynchronous receiver transmitter module and this capture module for the PWM generation lots of features are available now this is a clock frequency set it is user defined if you, you, you use 4 megahertz then it is a enter 4 megahertz and running up to 120 megahertz depending on the pre different peak series this is a program counter value initialize and initialize <coughs> the value is 0000 this is one literal register available in the peak which is also known as W register this content equal to 00 because I there is no simulation running i just only show the simulator id and what is is what it is functions this is a special function register this is a flag register z and the also the status register and the carry flag these are lots of registers available and they are these are register name and in the left hand side specify their address and this is the content of this special function register first of all this is timer zero this is power control low this is status this is file select register this is port a port b port c port b port e this is pc light h it is integer con interrupt control this is a pir peripheral interrupt register peripheral interrupt 2 register there are lots of asp buff means in the later video will be show that this uh, in the later video we'll thoroughly discuss about this register this is ccpr for the capturing effect pwm generation this is for the adr esh that means analog to digital register high bit at con zero analog to digital control register this is trish a to trish e to direction control register of the different ports available in the peak this is ssp con this is a master slave mode operation or the mssp that means slave to master communication or spa communication txt is uh, used for the transmit status bit of the tx register using e word okay there are lots of features are available these are timer 0 to timer timer 2 are available and these are the binary values and these are the hex values now we discuss about the general purpose register these are general purpose registers values and these general purpose register there are lots of bank registers are available in the later video we'll discuss about that these instruction counter these are clock cycle counter these are real time durations all things are shown but one thing is that in the tool these are the basic compiler where we written our code and compile it using this compi compi compiler editor these are my controller view these are pin function here we elaborately here elaborately discuss about the pin function of this my controller okay now next is i'll show lot of i'll in this video i'll show you lots of features these are alternate registers these are timer register there are lot, lots of registers are available these are their content of these registers okay and these are the binary values so this is known as the alternate SFR viewer this is a program memory editor this is a program memory editor starting from 0 to 1 FFF hex location this is only for peak 16F 877A this is a EPROM memory editor this is a 256 byte therefore 0 to ff that means 256 byte byte memory location available these are hardware stack editor the hardware stack locations are preferred here this is assembler where we code written our code in a assembly language manner and uh, this is a deassembler also deassembler is not a program loaded i here in any no, no uh, just show that is a deassembler not loaded any program these are breakpoint managers, special breakpoints, eight LED boards. These are quite important. If you run LED blinking program, then select from here the bar which as per your hardware selection. Select here the port. Okay. Next keyboard matrix also available. These are keyboard matrix four cross four keyboard. These are port and click here and change the port as your choice. 
now next is uh, the LCD module these LCD module and the, the setup there are lots of pin are available these are data lines which is connected to port B user can be choose there on its own way this is a select port D as a select this is a 4 bit high or 4 bit low which is used or 8 bit mode there are three modes for which the LCD is connected to the microcontroller one is 8 bit mode one is 4 bit high 4 bit low mode okay this is a register select line this is enable line this is a read write line okay this is not used that means this pin is basically grounded because in LCD we also we always write our any value in this LCD this is a graphical or GLCD graphical 128 cross 64 LCD format this is also the CS1 line CS2 line for the different configuration bits RS line enable line and data lines and read at RW lines now next is stepper motor face control this is a stepper motor where you control also the port this is a stepper stepper motor control again this is i2c program inter integrated circuit communication facilities and uh, this is a serial port ca ca control and this is seven segment display panel control there are four segments we also set up here the different types of port okay now next is uh, oscilloscope we also here get an oscilloscope to show the different waveform pattern okay next is signal generator also available here and these are ds 18s20 digital thermometer used for digital thermometer reading and also use initialize our own program this is the modbus this is a modbus slave mode and this is the address of the modbus where you store the number and this is CRC modbus modbus CRC address CRC checking values and also connect the external modules so lots of features are available in this simulator okay these are configuration we change the clock frequency select the microcontroller uh, reset simulation statistics auto there are lots of features are available please read it thoroughly and uh, do your simulation as for your applications oh okay so lots of features are available in this peak simulators